Hi. Well, I'm going to work through this um, baptismal certificate with you. This is clearly enough written and has nice predictable words that you can learn from it. And another one from the same time period, you should be able to interpret it yourself pretty much. So let's start at the top. Czechoslovakia Republic as opposed to Czech Republic now. It's Czechoslovakia. Diocese, don't know for sure. Gzestny, uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that close to correct. It looks like christening, doesn't it? There are a lot of cognates here that once you know what the root word is, you can kind of gather what they mean. So a matriki is a matriculation or a list, a book. Chis is chislo means number. Well, they don't have a book number for it, but it's lettered the letter P. And STR stands for strana, which is page 252. So if somebody has the original book, they can go back to that spot and look for other children, etc. ROD as a root word means family. So you'll see Rodice, Rodina, you'll see all kinds of R-O-D words. All you need to know is that it has something to do with family. So we have a family and baptismal document. List this document. Den is day. Mjesic is month. Rok is year. So memorize those. Naro zenyi is when born. Eight of Prosinex. This is one of those cases if, if it's of, the EC gets switched around to CE. I do believe, well, let's see, Prosinex, is that December? I think so. I'd have to look it up. I still don't know my um, months by memory very well. Get a dictionary and you can look. R, again, is rock year 1873. And here is the same thing spelled out in long words, kind of like when you write a check, you spell it all out. Sedem de Sat is 70. Uh, Eho and Tret is, is 3. So this is 70 and 3. It's like the 73rd um, year. Again, it's one of those cases. Um, the christening happened on the 9th of the 12th month. So again, this would lead me to think that it is December, 1873. Neno is name. Dietje is of the child. Uh, Dietje is child, and of the child would be this longer word. Anna Ptachkova, or Anna Ptachek. Misto is town of birth. Chislo is number. Domu is house. Um, when you see D-U-M, it means house. D-O-M has to do with house. Think of domicile in English. So there's another tie-in for a word you can recognize. Here's the name of the town. Here's the number of the house. And I'm not sure about these, but Okres is a, a political, or it's a governmental entity, so it's like the next higher up town. So you would have uh, a town in a county in Kansas or Nebraska, and then this would be the county seat, so to speak. So this is the one where, when you're looking for records, this is the one you would start with. Your birth. Roman Catholic. This would be uh, the birth status. Child was legitimate. And Zhenska would be feminine. Uh, Muj means boy, knob in German, Klobets, Jenna Mädchen, I don't know. 
different words you learn to recognize them. All right, moving on. Otetz's father, his birth, um, well, actually, Nabozhenstvi means religion. I had to look it up. His occupation, something, and Orod, there's his family again. So he is Vincent Ptacek, Catholic. And this is his occupation, Melamlinage, is a miller. I couldn't really find these words in the dictionary, so somebody would have to help out with this. Who knows? He's from that same town, House 133, the son of Jan Ptacek. Now, this is one of those other cases, genitive, genitive, or possessive in English. The A is like the preposition of. And you can see when you have a C-E-K-A, they drop out the E. But here it does say Melinage Miller. And here's the town where he was a miller at, Jan. When you see I-C-H at the end of a word, of a location name, and it's after the preposition that means in or of or at, then that I-C-E drops off and is replaced with an E for the root name of the town. But there's House 111. And Rosalie, who was born, and I'm not sure if this is Claudek, I suppose, I suspect that it's a D-E-K, the O-V-E is the feminine, and this is folded so I can't see it all. Matka, mother. Ye ye is feminine as opposed to ye ho, which is masculine. Anna born Jaman, Catholic. Dzera means daughter. Sin was son. Of Jan Zaman. Now this one I can help you with a little maybe. A Grunt was an inheritable farm as opposed to one where you lived on it at the um, will of the Lord. Also, this was 1873, so it's a little later after the serfdom was abolished. But nevertheless, it was an inheritable property, so he was an inheritor at this town. Again, here's the ICH. Change it to an E. Number 30, and Pavlina. Now, this is that possessive case again. When you have the A, a feminine ending in possessive, then it, one of the, there's a couple ways it changes, and one of them is it changes to a Y. So she is the daughter of Pavlina, Paula, Dutzeri, again, Dutzera is daughter, of Yosef, Blenka, Sedlock is a type of farmer of the same town. Um, Kanej, I thought was knight, but that's, yeah, whatever. This is the priest who did the baptism. And Coplin kind of sounds like chaplain, doesn't it? Not exactly the same, but close enough you get the idea. These are the witnesses, Katarzyna, Mikulecek, I presume, C-E-K. Jenna is a woman, I have no idea. Same place, oh, House 133, we have a bunch of people living there. And the other witness was Joseph Vanya Malinarge, a miller, from the same town, 133. This probably is the uh, midwife, but I don't think she was a fully licensed one. Jofia Vin, who knows? But that was the midwife. So this should give you a good idea of what is in this document. And if you go through this and then just read your document by yourself without listening to it, see if you can figure this stuff out, and then you will learn. Bye-bye.